Dauntless Trials players are probably some of the biggest Muppets in all of the game. They are, in some cases, a large reason why I think the game went downhill. Because developers listen to these kids. Because the Dauntless Trials nerds want the game to be more competitive. They want it to be more balanced, more just peak performance style game. They want to push you to your limits. Which makes no sense. Dauntless is a for fun monster fighting game. It's not Monster Hunter. You're not having to do these crazy things, prepare for a hunt. It's not that serious. It's a for fun pseudo like fighting game, but you got monsters and weapons. That's why folks played the game. Now the Dauntless nerds, they wanted something different or the Trials nerds, they wanted something different. And before we even had Trials, they did their own thing, which was actually cool. You would go into pursuits and patrols when hunts were actually timed and you would fight monsters and you would time it based on first hit and then last hit. And that was cool. It was very respectable. And then it got to a point where they're like, man, we want more stuff. We want to have more, I guess, competitive hunting things. And before trials even happened, an idea I had was, what if we had it so you had two teams go into a fight and they would fight a monster? Like maybe their own monster, like the same monster in like different arenas, but they're facing each other, trying to kill it faster. That was my version of trials. We didn't get that. Instead, we eventually got the trials we all, we all know and probably hate which is an arena, you fight a monster that has like 17 modifiers that are all boring as fuck, which has then since been reduced, but too little too late. Anyway, these people would constantly try and balance Dauntless in the modes that had zero impact on trials. They're like, man, Escalation, it's a little unbalanced, bro. View an impact can one-shot monsters. It's like, what the fuck do you care? How does me one-shotting monsters in, in Escalation affect your trials time? How? I think it was actually the fact that they were mad. They were upset. Because many of them were content creators. They were freaking fuming at the mouth, foaming at the mouth, that they didn't get the views they wanted on trials content. And they just kept thinking like, man, if we just keep nerfing other game modes, maybe, just maybe, we'll make those players realize that Escalation's too easy and they'll go ahead and go to the trials. They'll go ahead and switch their view to trials. No, dude. That's not why folks play the game. What I said in your comments, say that you don't care about the game. I apologize. Dude, I don't think folks realize that I... How can someone that has the amount of hours I have in the game not care? Like, how? I have probably 7,000 hours in the game. I have made close to, let's say, 400 videos on the game. How can I not care? I just don't understand. Regardless, though, it's sad that these people, these trials nerds, they were selfish. And they could not put their own vision of what the game should be in its own place while also viewing the game from what it is supposed to be and, like, what's good for the game. They couldn't do that. They couldn't separate their own selfish desires from what would actually make the game prosper. And they kept giving advice. They kept trying to basically encourage developers to go a certain direction which eventually got us to where we were, which is after console launch for Dauntless, which was the most popular time for the game ever. When, when console launched for Dauntless, the game was on PS5, Xbox, you could cross-play with PC. That was the most popular the game ever was and probably ever will be. I'm pretty sure. Maybe Escalation could somewhat rival that. I'm not too sure. But dog. They just, they released Trials and it was trash. And since then, it has been a dumpster fire. It's gotten a, li it's gotten a little bit better somewhat recently. I'm not sure when, but it's been a dumpster fire. And the entire time, the same folks that were championing, they were championing, cha champion, they were boasting the game mode as a fantastic thing for the game. They've been trying to play a role in reducing the enjoyability of all the other game modes. And I don't understand. It's so sad that we have Dauntless in the state it is right now. Whenever they had all the telling signs of what to do to make the game better. Shock Escalation releases, and there's a giant resurgence of gameplay. A giant resurgence of players, even after they kind of fumbled the bag with Trials. Like, we had Trials, Dumpster Fire. Shock Escalation releases, and bro, there's a bunch of views happening. There's a bunch of enjoyment, fun builds, new game mode. It's actually good. And what do we do? We reduce the enjoyability. For fucking what? And it's hard to pinpoint why they nerfed what they nerfed. But the best thing I can assume is you had the Trials nerds, the folks that want peak balance in a mode they don't even play, 
they were giving their thoughts and their thoughts were heard by the devs and the devs were like you know what you guys have a point we need balance in a pve game we need balance in a for fun game mode no you don't after playing as many games as i've played i've realized that when you don't prioritize fun which there is balance necessary to make fun make sense but when you don't prioritize fun to the extent you need to you will absolutely kill the for fun game modes and that's what Donalds is doing, and that's what a bunch of other games are doing. They don't, they don't know what the fuck's going on. They, they're, they're lost. And in some cases, they do look to certain players for guidance. And it just seems that they keep looking to the wrong people for guidance. Time and time again. I loved Escalation. I did too. I think Escalation was one of the most fun game modes. I do think that dual hunts suck. I think that dual hunts are a terrible idea. I think that Revy has shown me the light on that. Because you can't bounce dual hunts. You can't do it. The best thing you could possibly do for dual hunts is if you have multiple people to hunt, right? You have uh, basically like a separate arena on a, on a dual hunt. So you have one person go fight the monster on this side and another person fight the monster on this side. That's one way to balance it. If you know people are grouping up and doing content like that, that's one way to balance it. And it's kind of fun. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and race you. If I beat it first, you're trash. Like just fun shenanigans, like just trash talk between homies. That's cool, right? But instead, it's like, I'm solo queuing in an escalation. I'm getting hit through monsters. I'm asleep, not having a good time. But yeah, anyway, I think that the trials players are fucking bots. Like the ones that are outspoken about trying to balance the game in anything but the trials mode, they're fucking garbage. They are mediocre at a game that is made for children that for some reason is trying to market itself as this competitive monster slayer game. Like why the fuck did that happen in the first place? No one knows. But to the, all the trial kids that are just elitists in a game made for kids. Fuck you to the moon. You are absolute zucchinis. You will never be good at other video games. And if you are at like one, congratulations. But get good at more. Absolute fucking bots. Like they drive me nuts, man. Imagine killing the only... Imagine killing a game that could have been so good. Imagine playing a role in that. And hopefully Donald's actually pulls through and becomes more popular because apparently they have some new thing planned. I heard a... I think I saw Trials, right, Trails video recently, and he was talking about like a new thing coming out. He didn't really like he didn't elaborate on what it is because NDA, but hopefully it's cool. Exercise chair, yeah, I'm still lifting. I was just talking about this real quick, but yeah, Trials kids have not liked me for a very long time, and they can suck it because they're bots, and I'm better. Not Dauntless. They can they can be better at me in Dauntless. You can have that if if that's your your claim to fame. Then by all means, go nuts. But they're idiots when it comes to the game that they've put thousands of hours into. Imagine not having a clue in a game you spent thousands of hours in. That's sad. Be sure to follow the TikTok for more content and check out the stream sometime. Twitch.tv slash Odo. Have a good day. Peace.